You can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB script tips we are going to use the functions index and match to calculate the percentages of each subtotal so these are the subtotals and you can have as many as you want they are the subtotals of these sales and we want here each time a calculation this amount divided by the subtotal that amount divided by the subtotal and we keep doing that so it starts again here in row 7 etc how, how can you do that first of all you have your data in there and then we are going to make sure that we have after each month or whatever your subunits are that you have a line that has the word total in it even at the even either at the beginning or at the end it doesn't matter so we need subtotals here the, the fastest trick is to select column b go to home find and select go to special and find all the blanks in that column and click on OK it selects all the blank cells and you want subtotals in there you probably know that the shortcut for a, for a sum function is ALT equal sign so if I do that now ALT equal sign I get automatically the subtotals in there so now we need to do in C2 we have to divide B2 divided by B6 and then later on by B14 etc it's a, basically a very simple formula and it looks like this we put in this cell the cell to our left divided by and we use the index function the index function looks in column B and then it finds the, the row number of that subtotal by looking for the word total in that column so we use the match function double quotes asterisks because I don't care how the word starts in column A and then total if total is at the beginning then you do the asterisk at the end of course if total is in the middle you do asterisk total asterisk it's case sensitive and then we use an offset function we want to find that word in column A but starting in A2 so we use an offset function offset from A2 no row or column changes and check the first thousand cells uh, if you have many more records make it 10,000 or 100,000 or whatever it doesn't really matter and we don't want to change anything for the last argument but we have to add one more row two more rows three more rows etc so plus row a1 so a1 will change into a2 a3, A4, A5, etc. That that's A1, it could also be B1 or C1, that does not really matter. So now when we have that formula in here, it's a regular formula. So it looks like this. In the column B, we use the match function. The match function finds a row number in this case by looking for the word total somewhere looking in column A but starting at A2 okay. and the match type is 0 so in total and if we do the row function the row function just finds the number of the cell row A1 okay I'm cancelling that I copy that formula downwards I can do that with a double click I may have to do one more here at the end and these are the perfect percentages 
for all these things. It, it will automatically update if I change this into 20,000. Then everything in that first section will update. You uh, probably think, how could I ever come up with these kind of functions? That's, that's hard to tell. Maybe you have feeling for it. If you don't have feeling for it, it may help you to look at all the examples I created for you. I created three CD-ROMs, a general one on Excel, 2007 or 2010 or 2013. That doesn't make much of a difference for these kind of purposes. I made a VBA one that also worked for 2010, 2007. I made one for scientists. And besides, I have a book on that issue and uh, my bestseller, Excel simulations. It has more than 80 different simulations from Monte Carlo simulations, etc. For genetics, for statistics, for finances, etc. You can find it at genesispc.com.